So, as you can tell with the title of the video, we just got a new toy. Let's check it out. It's a 1990 Mazda Miata. It's a chick magnet. This will get you laid. It winks. So I picked this baby up from Facebook's Marketplace. Traded it square even for my Honda Ruckus to this car for zero dollars. Even trade, it's got 84,000 miles originally. Yeah, it's not the best in shape, the best condition of a Mazda Miata. What can you expect? It's a 1990. Stock original rims, five-speed manual. It's a 1.6 liter, and yes, it's convertible. Yeah, you'd be surprised exactly what you can find in Facebook's Marketplace. Like I said, for my past previous videos, I got a 2005 Honda Ruckus for a great deal for $980 or something like that with the free latches and everything. I got this right here for an even trade from it and it's gonna be a project car, yes. Uh, eventually in time, I'm gonna put some body kits on it, make it all rice mode and everything. But for the deal that I got just for an even trade for a scooter for a, for, for a car, I think that's a pretty phenomenal deal. Interior is not too shabby. If you guys know how to hook up the, the, the headrest uh, speakers, it's disconnected right now. I gotta check some forums out on there and how to put it back together. The top's in great condition. Overall, it's a great car for a 30-year-old vehicle. Tiny car, like 17 times fast. Complain, Mag, wine, complain. <sighs> well, first person view, not really. It's more like Alexandra's first person view of the, the Miata. What's going on, guys? I think you should focus on the road. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna take a photo. Coming, honey. Let's take a photo of it right here. Coming, honey. What are you doing? You said let's drive up here. Yeah. I'm only asking what are you doing. You're so serious. Make sure it's not in gear. You always check the gearbox too. What are you doing? I'm going to get the pot. Huh? I'm going to get the pot. You're going to get the what? Coffee. So you forgot the what? Coffee. Forgot the coffee. Okay. We got to get the coffee. Oh, we got to get the coffee. Let's see if I can hold the camera. Oh my god. This is dangerous. Oh, this is dangerous as hell. Should be okay. Can I go this way? No, it's all yeah, it's one thing. Did I know that? Like because that's for private residence. Focus. I can see the oh. oh my god. <laughs> Freaking out already. Yeah. Never trust a blonde woman to drive on a stick shift. Put the pedal to the pedal. Literally. What are you, Rick Ross? Oh. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, take it easy. Right turns only. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Got the coffee. Oh, the coffee. Okay. I don't know. Here you go. Clutch all the way down. Just keep driving until you have a photo of us. Get the guy off it first. What the f- Alright, leave it there because we can't drive. So, we just took a little quick little minute pause of doing laps around the garage parking lot. Laps. Reason because we were actually taking some photos. 
Kids, do not try this at home. We are qualified professionals taking selfies while driving a convertible Miata. Buckle up, buckaroos! Oh my god. I get the coffee, what are you doing? Holy I am. Switch? Yeah. Yeah. Switch until is you, better. Until you get a mirror. Uh, Give a fuck. So I get to be the one risking our lives here. Air Jordan. Oh. Coffee. Air Jordan. <laughs> We got that. We info. push it to the limit, John. Uh, what's going on, bitches? Yeah. These guys don't know no shit. No, we can't put that in the video. What the fuck? <laughs> got kids here. How you feel after that bocce slice? Oh, that bocce was legit. We didn't even record it. Jigs. Jigs. Uh, I don't owe you coke because I already bought you coke. Yeah. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Don't let me go. Totally. So Let's go to Lincoln Park. Objects in camera are closer than they appear, John. Thank you. There's Bueller's Day Off. What's happening guys? It is the morning of the next day. Last night we did a last second uh, travel to get some wheels and tires for the Miata. Um, again, scrimmage around Facebook's marketplace and what do you know, I found a great set, great deal. Uh, bargained, negotiated and came down to getting some new rims and tires all in a package. Very great condition if I may add. And they are just a set of uh, MST M16 wheels, 15 inch with wrapping with Kumos, 225, 50 by 15s. Okay, let's check it out. Here it is. Boom. So, as you can tell, it's got the uh, bronze color to it. I think uh, plus 20 offset. Yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Look at that. Very good condition. Great condition, actually. No curb rash at all, whatsoever. And all four. This came out from a Cooper. Um, and the guy actually had a 2012 uh, Jeep SRT. Completely all decked out, so he knew his toys. And it's gonna go in there. So that with this. And that, can't even focus. Just gonna get some new little shoes today. Yeah, I oh, also got a pair of ink keys there too. But, yeah, look at that. 
What's happening guys? So in this update video, I have decided to post and create a little segment of how I got some great deals of uh, rims and tires of, uh, what is it, the uh, M16, where are they? Shit, MST. M16s, 15 by eights, and I actually picked it up uh, two days ago, and check this out. It looks really freaking good. 15 by 8s, 225s by 50 by 15s. I know that you can go probably 45 and get some better of a uh, profile to it, but these tires are like brand new. I got it all totaled for $350, which is not a bad deal. Very clean of a stance, man. It's very wide. Next thing I'm probably going to get done is to exhaust. Um, a lot of other things too as well. Just did a tune-up. I didn't decide to create a video of how to do that with the spark plugs, the wires, and the oil change. Um, but other than that, it's really looking pretty good. I mean, look at this. Really clean. Really clean. Really clean. Really clean. Got the Kumos um, Extra in there, tires. But I love pretty much overall how it looks with the stands that she's got. Other than that, um, it's coming along together, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's getting there. Got the Miata license plate um, emblem in the front over here, which I got from eBay actually for like five bucks. And it's like carbon fiber, which is pretty cool. Other than that, not much really is going on. Um, like I said, next upgrade will probably be an intake and exhaust. I really wanna fix a lot of the things. Um, I know that the purge valve for the exhaust for the gas tank, excuse me, is uh, I need to replace because it's starting to build a little bit of fume, you know, some smell inside the interior. Um, it could be the check valve too as well. I've already cleaned that with some carb spray cleaner, um, but it's getting there and uh, a lot of the work still needs to be done. Uh, next project will probably be also to replace the, the seal valves for the um, head and everything and um, other than that, it should start running smoothly.